Hello? Hello, Will. By Hello, the Drew. miracle of science, we've yeah. got you through. Made me because I pushed the right button. And now you you've the got button. now you've got J D as well. Hi. Right. Okay. Right. I can hear him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's all very good. And um, excuse me for a sec, Will, because I yeah, okay. I might forget what I played. We played Jenny, don't stop believing. Uh, then we played the. Uh, uh, the animals got to get out of the place, <laughs> and I can't remember what else we played. Mm. But, but uh, <laughs> mm. the audience know the animals oh, anyway. Um, it was good, Charlotte, with the victims of love, and now JD's turning volumes up. Yeah, I can't hear him. Oh. I gotta hear oh, him. No, I can... Oh, I can hear you now, JD. Yeah, I can hear you right now. Clear as a bell. That's brilliant. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, this technology? Yeah. Uh, well, it is. <laughs> well, I have one question Oh, Ooh, he's got a question. OK. How yeah. was your journey? Oh, OK. Well, yes, Chris, I took a new route. Yeah. I got, I got off at Clapham Junction. Yeah. And I discovered that the toilets are at the completely different end of the station to... The bit that connects to the, um, the, 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 further, the further on route. Yeah, no, the, that... JT, this is what we need to know, this information. That doesn't really matter about no, the toilet. But, no, but then, then the, there is an overland railway that does indeed go to Canada Water. And, and has... are there lifts? Yes, there are lifts. There's lifts at both ends. OK. But strange, strangely, Canada Water, although it's quite a new station, you have to be careful which carriage you get on to because um, some of the carriages don't open the doors. OK. We, had, get... we had that on the DLR. We did. It's just those little things that the AI systems don't know about somehow, but you learn as you go along. OK. Um, well, the reason they don't want to open the doors, they don't want to let you out. They don't want to let you out, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> they say the train is now... You should please make your way mm. um, through the doors, sort of, you know, but often there's not enough time for that, and especially not in a wheelchair. So these are the things we need We need to plan ahead. But it, it's much easier, I would say Clapham Junction is a much easier station than Paddington okay. to make the connection that we need to make. Yeah. Um, and then the Jubilee line does go to Canning Town, and from Canning Town, just as before. Yeah. Canning Town is the centre of the universe, as we know it. Yeah. So I think it took about an hour, just about just over an hour, an hour and a half maybe. So it's about it's about the same time, but I'd say. It's what from Exeter? No, no, from <laughs> from Clapham Junction. Ah. So it's probably about the same as from Paddington, but the train was very full, but then the tubes are very full. So OK, well, I, we I might think... have to experiment with that next year. Yes, yes. The only, the only um, issue that's come to my mind now is that I've, I've bought a return ticket to Clapham Junction, so I've got to, I've got to get back to Clapham Junction at the end of the day, but, but I, I'm sure there's a way of doing that. Yeah. So um, I'll, I'll let you know next week. Or you could uh, just get on the train and hope they're nice and kind. <laughs> yes, yeah, they might be. <laughs> <laughs> sort, of thing Chris, it, sort of thing Chris would do, you know, I think. Yes. But, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. but Will, you wouldn't have me with you, so... <laughs> no. No, between us, we could. We could just turn up at the office and say, please, <laughs> how do we do this, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And yeah. they'd be helpful, wouldn't they? Yeah, and um, put you on the wrong train, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. You no. find yourself in Scotland. <laughs> no. Well, possibly. No, you get back to Exeter, but at the earlier time than you said. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and that yeah. little bit between Waterloo and Clapham Junction, you'd have just sort of um, negotiated. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. well, thank you for that information. So, what have you found at Bet now? Well, it's not Bet, it's the Learning Technologies one. Oh, it's the same well, place. yeah, oh, and I know. It's the, and, it's the, and it's the same ideas, really. But, yeah. Um, I, well, the only di the differences seem to be that the technology is not so obvious. They're all talking about the cloud and AI, and but the, all of that stuff is hidden. There's, there's not chunky equipment on the stands or anything you'd recognise as technology in the uh, way that Bet has got. Okay. Um, but the idea, the ideas are there, I think, quite similar. Yeah. And and also telephones are recognised. That. And Bet, they they weren't they didn't really think the kids should have telephones, did they? They well that wasn't. They that didn't. Wasn't obvious anyway. They didn't really talk about it. Whereas um, the other workers probably have got a telephone. And speaking of telephones, which telephone are you using, number six? <laughs> yeah, number six, which is my trusty Doro. Oh, okay. It's a very limited telephone, except for making phone calls, yeah. voice phone calls, and which it's all right. And the battery's quite limiting as well. Well, I, 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 I boosted it overnight, so I'm OK for another half an hour or so, I think. OK. Well, that's it. It's just object, it's objecting now to whatever's going on. OK, <laughs> but, well... Um, that, sorry, I'm that's... Sure we'll be all right. that, sorry, that's Chris's we'll, fault. Oh. Well, we'll be, we'll be all right for another few minutes anyway, Chris. OK. Well, no, blame the producer. The producer... Oh, well, sure. No, look, look... look. <laughs> We're gonna have we're gonna have some RG bargy next year uh, next week. Yes. Uh, the uh, producer yeah, yeah. will have to buy you a new phone. No, but I'm, I'm sure he wants to. <laughs> he wants to buy me a new phone. I'm oh, sure. yeah. I've got I've got I've got a um a juice here called apple juice. Will that do? It'll oh, make, that might do. It'll <laughs> make <laughs> you switch to phone seven. Your trusty iPhone. Well, it might. Well, I've I've. I've well, Chris, look, I've got I've got a couple of points to make before before we end. But um, yep. I've heard that actually the iPhone's not that good for voice calls because they put so much else into it, and the people who who um, use iPhones use text so much anyway. Yeah, that is they true. Have, they haven't really bothered with a good signal for voice, but that may may be conjecture. Okay. Well, me and anyway, John. Gone. Anyway, listen, I'll just, just my news. I've found a completely different survey to the previous one. The, the, the LinkedIn survey seemed to think that management was very relaxed about technical skills. Yeah. And was only worried about leadership and creativity and communication. But the Udemy um, have a completely different view of life. They've, they've done a survey. Artificial intelligence is reshaping the world of work. And um, only 26% of organisations think they're ready for it, whereas 65% think it's very important. So they're going overboard on um, technical skills. Uh, TensorFlow, Chatbot, OpenCV, Neural Networks, Linux. Those are, those are the main things they're interested in. So what we make of it, I don't know. OK. As long as it's um, got, as long as it's got the on and off button, I can understand it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Well, as long as the producer's reassured that, we, do, we, do you think we have enough technology in the studio, or are there a few things we'd benefit from? Um, well, I, well, Chris's Chris's technology is pretty good, you know, because um, uh, I don't I don't have to wind his battery up inside him at all. Well, that no. is good. I don't have to plug him in, which is pretty good. He lasts a long time. Right. That's, that's very good. <laughs> yeah. Well, then the, I think the, we the got other, it. Yeah. I think we've got enough in here. I think we we've have to do, make do what we got, as we say. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll, we'll say that it's it's very good for FM, and we'll we'll add the artificial intelligence later on. That's yeah. I think all all I'll mention now in the in the sort of time time scale is mm -hmm. that. Um, Adobe are doing a talk this afternoon are about they? artificial intelligence. Are they? 
That. Um, it's a, yeah, so carry on, Chris. That but, sounds interesting. And, uh, you know, we spoke to Martin Stork in the studio, uh, yeah. in the cafe in the yesterday. Cafe. Um, yeah. And I played London Calling for him. Well, no. I played it straight after you just called and you're calling right. from London. This is true. <laughs> so... Now that fits very well. That's continuity for you. Big yeah. word. Oh yes, it's production, isn't it? Really. <laughs> yes, production. Yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I'll, I'll I'll report a bit more next week. A few, de- mm. few details. Okay. Those, those are the main things, really. The, whether it's the tech skills or the soft skills, there's a bit of dispute about. But maybe it's just different organisations you have to go to, and they they have a different group of people they talk to yeah maybe so we'll, we'll see how that works out okay and okay. okay we will speak to you soon will okay well i won't find again for the show but i'll, I'll see you next next wednesday you will uh, yeah I'll, yeah we'll, we'll phone we'll phone or message in the meantime different uh, ways okay see to you soon Bye. Okay, bye, Chris. Bye, Jody. Bye. 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 bye.